Chase Anderson, 32 years old, will make his second start of the season. Threw the ball well his first time out against Boston. He threw three innings. He's a guy that has pitched well. He's seven years in the big leagues with a 53 and 40 record. Two out base runner for the race, G Man Choi, went 0 for 4 with three strikeouts last night, dropping his average down to 185. Choi swings and lines went to straightaway center. There's Randall Gritchick making the catch. Choi's retired, so are the Rays. Yarbrough has pitched very well against the Blue Jays over his career. He has a 6-1 and one record. Leadoff man aboard, Biggio at first. And the delivery swing and a miss. He struck him out. And there's Yarbrough getting Bichette a little anxious and getting into chase down in the dirt, and he retires him on three pitches. So two on with two out for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Swing and a miss. He got him to chase. The change up down. He got him anxious just like he did Bichette. A couple of strikeouts and a couple of runners left. The leadoff man on here in the second, and now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. And right there at the knees for strike three called. Again, the one-two and a fastball at the knees to get him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Anderson. The Rays have runners on the corners with two down. First pitch swinging popped up. Anderson is trying to help McGuire find it. It'll be Guerrero coming down the line to make the basket catch. Here is Austin Meadows to lead off. High fly ball back into right. That will carry and go. Austin Meadows with his second home run of 2020. And he's given the Rays a 1-0 lead here in the third. So two out and a runner at second for the red hot Mike Brasso. Lau the lead. Another 0-2. A swing and a miss. Got him with a cutter. And Chase Anderson strikes out Brasso. Bo Bichette, four straight games with a home run. 1-1. Ground ball left side, and it's going to get under the gloves of both infielders. And this is going to be a base hit to extend his hit streak. So with two outs and runners at first and third, here's Hernandez. He had a base hit his first time. Is a 3-2 offering to Hernandez, and he swings and drives one in the air to center, but Kiermaier is right there to make the catch, and that will retire the side. So the Blue Jays threaten, but leave two men aboard for the second time tonight. Wilmer Font takes over for Chase Anderson to start the fourth inning with the Blue Jays down 1-0. Half swing on a fastball up. He goes around, says Hunter Wendelstedt, and Font strikes out Adamas for the first out. Still 2-2 two and two to Zanino with two outs. That's the important thing, and there's a swing and a miss. And Fawn strikes him out. Blue Jays and the Rays are unfortunately going into a rain delay. The ground screw is getting the tarp on the field. It is the first rain delay for a Blue Jays home game. 17 years. Ready for more baseball as the Blue Jays and the Rays resume the game that was suspended by weather yesterday. Jalen Beats will begin this resumption of the game. And the Blue Jays saw him on opening night. And that'll bring up Rowdy Telez. Here's a chopper, and it's going to get through the drawn-in infield into center field, and that'll go as an RBI single for Telez to tie the game. That's a way to put the ball in play. Up to Demon Choi, left-hand batter. Here's a swing and a hard ground ball to first. Into right for a base hit. It heads towards the corner. Diaz motors around second. He heads for third. Linares is going to give him a late stop sign. Then the throw gets away, and heading home as Diaz, he will score standing up. And Choi makes it to third. Botched defense for the Blue Jays, and the Rays take a 2-1 to one lead. And now Kevin Cash coming out to talk with the umpires because I'm not sure if that ball got away or what if it ended up in the dugout area and trying to see if the ball, having since it went into the dugout, should you get that back. So we'll see who they give the error to. It's got to be DiBiggio, I think. And then I think the umpires are going to look to see where Choi was. If he was around second base, then you, you wonder if he gets third and home. Hmm. And so they'll take a look at the high home camera to see where he was when that throw got away. We see the replay again here. It did. And the Rays base runners were given only the additional 90 feet. So I got to go base hit E4 to give the Rays the lead. And now the umpires are checking to see if Choi was around second or if he was just standing at second base. Well, they're being told something, or at least communicating. He did start running towards third only once the throw got away. The umpires are now saying that Choi stays at third base. So Diaz scores. The Rays do have a two to one lead and Choi the runner at third with two out with Diaz scoring because of the error. So now a two down to Oscar Hernandez. Didn't get it there but he hooks the ball to left field and it's down for a base hit. It'll get all the way to the fence where Meadows picks it up. Panic is on his way to third. Getting the wave home. There will be no relay throw and the Blue Jays have tied it. And it was easy for the Blue Jays to score Panic all the way from first. Well, there's another good swing. Danny's never faced Aaron Loop. Swung on and lifted. Shallow center. Kiermaier coming on. Slides and makes the catch. Kevin Kiermaier got a great break and a good read and went into a slide. 
and it's taken away by the best center fielder in the business. And Brandon Lau to lead off against the right-hander Romano. Fly ball back into center off the bat of Lau with Carey. Goodbye. Home run for Brandon Lau, and the Rays take the lead. His seventh home run of the year, and it's 3-2. Rays have Nick Anderson on the mound as we head into the bottom of the ninth inning. And he lifts it into center. Kiermaier sets up to make the catch, and the Rays win it. They have completed the second game of this series, and they win it 3-2 on the home run by Brandon Lau to lead off the top of the ninth inning.